Lucia Matuato is the publisher of Relatable Voice magazine and has generously aligned with the BookFest to produce the special BookFest edition. She joins me now to talk about cultivating community among writers and readers. Lucia, hello. How you doing? Hello, Bethany. I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, at this time, every time during the book fest, as it ends, I have to admit, I get a little emotional because this event is such a labor of love and it's filled with spirit of community and unity. And you, Lucia, I am so honored to have with me now because you're one of those truly special folks who in the writing community are doing so much. You're an author, you're a magazine publisher, a podcast host, a woman with an incredible vision and passion for everything that you do. So Lucia, can you start by telling us more about Relatable Voice magazine? Thank you, Desiree. Thank you so, so much for having me. And you are part of this beautiful community and I couldn't be happier to have to be um, helping to promote this amazing event, which is the Book Fest. So the magazine started because I felt the desire to, to publish or promote our guests in a bigger way. So having a magazine, by having a magazine, I could not only promote their work, but also promote their lives, what they like doing during their spare time, promoting their web website, and also being able to connect these authors, these writers, or I mean creatives, with their readers. Because, you know, a writer, a new writer, for example, is always has always a masterpiece ready to be discovered. And it's what the magazine does, shows up their work for the world because the magazine is being promoted all over the place. Yeah, you, you, you guys are everywhere and that is so fabulous. Um, I And just doing a magazine, like that's a lot of work. That's a big undertaking. So I applaud you and Marco. I'll give him a shout out because I know he's he helps with a lot of the magazine. Uh, you guys both have just done so much. Can we talk a little bit about um, cultivating that sense of community among writers? You are a BookFest bellwether and we've known each other for a few years now. We've been doing things together, collaborating, supporting each other. And I think you're the per perfect person to talk about cultivating that community and why it's so important, you think, to give back and support one another. Oh, this is a great question, Desiree. And for me, the importance of community in the bookish world is immeasurable. You know, it's crucial for writers looking to promote their work and also for readers seeking new books. Mm -hmm. And for instance, through my podcast and magazine, The Relatable Voice, I am cultivating a strong community of authors, creatives, writers, and individuals who have always aspired to create art, but were uncertain about their cap capabilities. For example, I received many emails from, from people who telling me, Lucia, it's so great that you are open, opening this opportunity for new authors, indie authors, and people who are just starting and you are opening this door and it's incredible because not only through Facebook and Twitter and book, book fests like yours, and it's also another tool that you are offering 
to the community. And you know, the RV, the relatable voice, is our, it's all about community and helping each other. I think within the writing community, especially, unlike a lot of other industries, you talk about creatives and create tours. That sense of working together and supporting one another from the beginning, that just builds and builds and builds. Because I don't think there's industries quite like ours where you start something as a fan. Because so many writers, every writer, I think, has to begin as a reader. You don't become a writer without being a reader first. It's that entree to books, usually at a young age, maybe as a teenager or grade school, we start to read and then it's like the bug bites us where we want to want to write. Yeah. It's not like, you know, you become a plumber because one day you fix your sink and you're like, oh my gosh, now I must be a plumber. Not to say there's anything wrong with the plumbers of the world, but there's just something different when you're a creator, when you support and welcome others into the community. Don't you think? Yes, exactly. And you know, the beautiful thing about a community is to be able to interact with a diverse group of people and people who hold the same interests and want to, as I said, help each other. Uh, for example, I started two years and a half ago and I didn't know much about the bookish world, but through connections and of course through you, which was a huge supporter for the podcast, I have to tell you that I'm very honored to have you being part of this great community and many others. I learned so much in, in not just two years and a half, and you know community made me feel that I was not alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thoughts on readers, because those who are reading books, and maybe, maybe they're not quite ready to become a writer. They're, they're enjoying the craft of reading, I should say. They're, they're enjoying being able to read and enjoy the immersive experience but they're such a vital part of the community too. Thoughts on how readers and ways readers can be supporting authors in the books that they love? Uh, they should, for example, attend to book fairs, uh, write reviews, read the books, please, and write reviews. Um, participate also in some book launches book launches, you can help. It's so nice when you are publishing a book and you have people they are listening to the blurb. Also write reviews, of course. Listen to their talk, maybe on a podcast or read literature magazines where I'm sure you will find new authors and amazing books. And what else? Ah, there are so many things. Participate in groups, literature groups, and many other ways. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you nailed it. They're, they're, those are all great ideas and so important. I don't know about you, but I often talk to authors, and sometimes they, they, you know, they just pour their heart and soul into that book to put it out into the world. And one little review can totally make their day. Heck, it, it can make their week if they get a review. And it seems so, it, it's so, such an easy thing for a reader to be dismissive of. Oh, yeah, I like that book, but you know what? I don't have the 30 seconds to write that review. Really, if you love the book, review the book, put it on Amazon, Goodreads, even just social media. I often recommend too that readers, especially if you have a platform, maybe your own blog or social media, go to NetGalley and apply to be a book reviewer on NetGalley. Um, and that way you can really help spread the word about the books that you love to read. Uh, I'm gonna segue now over into our 
digital age? Because you mentioned events and yes, going to events and participating and joining like the book fest is important. Um, any other thoughts of how to foster some deeper connections, especially in our, our digital age where everything has changed and evolved so much? Uh, I realized, for example, that when I started uh, uh, publishing this magazine, more people started downloading it. And also the authors were telling me, Lucia, I had more visitors in my website, on my website. Why? Mm -hmm. Because with this, of course, digital uh, era now, we can add links to the magazine, links of their interview, their podcast interview, links to their website, links to their YouTube channel, links to their books. So it's way easier now to be able to connect readers to, to authors. And because when a, a reader goes to their, to their favorite author's website, they can connect, directly connected with the author. And this is, I think, just, just amazing. Also through Book, book Fest, uh, through the Book Fest, they can also learn about the author, listen to the panels, and learn about their books and say, wow, this is what I was looking for, and try their books. So there are so many ways to, to connect with the authors nowadays, it's so much easier than in the past. And I believe that what we are doing, which is uh, promoting this amount of information and of course promoting these authors is it's something that it's going to be to improve even, even more. And you know, as you talk about uh, artificial intelligence, I know that more good things are coming soon. I agree. In our ever-changing, rapidly evolving world, where artificial intelligence is, I believe, I'm optimistic, eternally optimistic, it's helping us. I think it also sets the stage for those even deeper connections. And we can have deep connections virtually. We're doing it right now. 10 years ago, Lucia, though the technology was there for this type of event and this kind of conversation, we just weren't utilizing it in quite the same way. So I'm with you. I think it's exciting. I look forward to the future because I think there's a lot of great things on the horizon for writers and the reading, reading community as well. I want to mm -hmm. ask one more question before we wrap this up, yep. because you are an author. You've written many books. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, tell us about your books, Lucia. Um, I've published five books, and the last one was an anthology that I published with four, uh, 13 guests that I had on my podcast. It was very difficult to choose among so many people. It was. It's called The Relatable, Relatable Voices, A Travel to Make People Smile. And we have about 20, 21 stories that are really fun to read and they are very also inspirational. So this is the last book, which is an anthology. But there is a book that is very special to my heart, which is Out of the Box. You heard about it mm -hmm. before. And Out, Out of the Box is a book about environment and our planet. Because you know, uh, there's a very global warming or climate change is uh, at our front door, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. And yeah. It's, not, it's not at the front door. It's beating the door down. It's standing <laughs> in the foyer going, I'm here. What are you going to do? Oh. And you're, you're right. The, the, you know, we, we can't be in denial anymore anybody who still is in denial I, i'm sorry but we need to look at the science and the facts and we're living in a much warmer world than we were even just a few years ago and that's frightening because that kind of drastic change is going to affect us all and your book out of the box is amazing at addressing 
that. Thank you so much for giving Thank that you. treasure to us. Yeah, thanks, unfortunately. But the book, what I do is I compare, I give the kids two different situations. Mm -hmm. For example, the, the two main characters are Noah and his sister Mila, and they live in a city called Grey Town. And Grey Town is a town surrounded by war, walls with no trees, full of factories, dirt, smog, and yeah, basically they live in a polluted city and they don't know that the, the city is polluted because they always lived there. And what, something happens that they find out a new city called Green City. And as the name says, is a very clean city where people breathe clean air, ride bike, bicycles, and see trees wherever they go. So the idea is not to be lecturing kids, you know, this way. Kids don't like being lectured. It's to show two, two different things and to understand that if we don't start doing something right now, there will not be great towns green towels, sorry, green towels anymore. So this is the idea. And this book is a bestseller book. I'm so happy to, yes. And uh, I'm play, I'm writing the second one. I still didn't have time to finish it because there are so many things happening. But by the end of this year, we'll have out of the box number two. Oh, yay, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Thank you. Lucia, you're amazing. Thank you for everything that you do for the reading and writing community. And again, thank you for providing the special book fest edition of Relatable Voice Magazine. I appreciate that so much. My pleasure. I'm so happy. This is our second time this year promoting the book fest. And we couldn't be happier. Relatable Media is producing, is helping the book fest, the book fest adventure to become even bigger. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And likewise, you have the RV Book Fair and you're doing so much with your podcast and everything else with your writing. You, you're a media mogul. Lucia, you're this woman who has crossed so many different media, and I applaud you for that. Thank you so much. Thank you, and I admire you a lot, Desiree. Thank you so much for all the opportunities you are giving us. My pleasure. And we'll see you for the next Book Fest. It's coming up in spring 2024. Yes. We'll do this all over again or something similar. And... um. Be sure, everybody, make sure, again, that you're signed up to be a book faster. Uh, that way you stay in the loop. You get notices when we put out calls for speakers and ideas. And also so you get that VIP virtual gift bag that has the issue of Relatable Voice magazine that is the special book fest edition. And uh, you can also... Uh, click and download other issues as well. As well, I, I believe you can order physical copies of the magazine too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Until next year, keep on reading, my friends. And thank you for being part of the book-loving community that is the Book Fest. <laughs>